Hello and welcome to my build class 2. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make fountains. These two fountains you see in front of me. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for fountain 1 over here, what you will need for fountain 1 is cobblestone, stone brick, stone brick stairs, stone stairs, a fancy glowstone lantern, stone slab, and some water. So if we grab all these out now, what you're going to want to do first is find where you want to place it. Nice open area. We go one, two, three, four, five. Place a block in here, and a block here, and another one, two, three, four, five. Place one there, and another one here. One, two, three, four, five. Just continue this all the way around. Now what you want to do is grab your stone stairs, oops, place these all here, go all the way around, one, two, two, two. So this fountain would probably be a good idea for a centerpiece for say your base or maybe a map if you are thinking of making one now what you want to do is break all these out just like that now your next step is you want to get your cobblestone go one in a 3x3 three three square so now you've marked the center and next what you want to do is dig out this whole area so I'll be back once I've done that okay and we're back so next what you'll want to go do is get your glowstone or your fancy glowstone lantern whatever one you're using place one in the center just keep skipping a block each time on all four sides just like so and next what you want to do is get your stone slab fill this whole area in you just dug out with stone slabs oops all the way just keep going until it's full just like so and I'll be back again once I've done that okay right we're back so you should have something that looks like this if not well then feel free to press the pause button and catch up with me if you have well then what you'll want to go do is grab your cobblestone again place two blocks up just like so another two so they're three high next you want to do is grab your stone stairs, place them upside down, go all the way around place them in the middle as well after you've done that next what you're going to want to do is climb up top once we've actually finished it climb up top, get your stone brick get one in the center like that and then go one two three four then you want to do is grab your stone stairs go one whoops sorry your cobblestone stairs one two three four four fill that in And then you're going to want to go one, two, then place your fancy glowstone lantern on the top so it looks something like that. And then finally, all you need to do is chuck your water bucket on top, and the water will do the rest. 
So there you go. That is the first one. So now if we just delete all these items. Or the second one, which is over here, which is a little bit more advanced. What you're going to need is a cobblestone slab, stone stairs, stone brick, stone slab, marble slab as well, a bucket of water, and a fancy glowstone lantern as well. So now, if we head over here, let's get some space between us and that one. So first what you want to go do is place a block smack down and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place one there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one there. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Now what you want to do is go so that's one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Join it all up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Four. Join that up. Now you've joined it up, you've created the circle for it. Next, what you're going to want to go do is go one, two, three, four, four. Now you're going to want to make a five by five square, so one, two, three, four, five, just like so, fit it all in, next you want to grab your stone stairs, go all the way around it, make sure you get the corner pieces as well, So again, I'll be back once that's done. Okay, and we're back. You're gonna wanna have something that looks like this. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is break out the whole bottom. Just like so. All the way to your markers. Just note what you want to do while you're breaking out is if you break this, grab your lantern again, place one there, one there, one there, one there, sorry, one there, one there, one there, one there, and now if you want to carry on and break this all out, so. This fountain could be used, I reckon, definitely for a probably a Hunger Games map or a giant base that needs a main feature. Now we've broke all this. What you're going to want to do is grab your marble slab and fill this in, just like you did with the other one. I'll be back once I've done this okay and you're going to want to have something that looks pretty much like this and, and just make sure you've placed them glowstone in because that's important to this build just where I show you one there one over there one over there and one there make sure they're one block down so next what you're going to want to do is climb up onto your build find the center block, so one, two, three, one, two, three, so 
so the center block must be here you'll want to go up one two three four I think five and you're gonna to want to go one two make a three by three square next grab your stone stairs again and then just go around the whole bottom like you did on the bottom row I mean side until you have pretty much something that looks like this and then you're going to want to go find the center block again, go up one, two, three, four. Then get your stairs for the last time, place one there, one there, one there, one there, and join them all up. Makes a nice neat patch. When I actually do it, there you go, like that. Then finally, you're going to want to want one bucket of water or one five, depending on how you like it. If you like it like that one over there, you're going to want to place one bucket of water there. Let that scroll down and fall into place. And then finally, what you're going to want to do is place one bucket there, one bucket there, one bucket there, one bucket there. These are optional, you don't have to place them buckets there. And just so you know about the glowstone we placed earlier, if we quickly make it night, as you can see, the middle of it lights up, so makes it look nice and fancy. So I hope this has helped you in some way. And until next time, Thank you.